I have never prayed for anything for myself, only for our people. We must learn to plan and prepare, not just for the next election, but for the next generation. I call on the whole country to work together in unison rather than to fall apart in the session. It is about looking forward and giving more to the people who gave us the greatest, hardest gift of all, the care of a country. Ngayon, taas noon na tayo humarap sa buong mundo at nagsasabi, kaya ko, kaya ng Pilipino, simula pa lang ito. We have a band to act together. We have to help each other. For then and only then can we truly prevail. Throughout history, all our leaders have pledged to give us a better country. The Filipinos have witnessed everything from start to finish, from beginning to end. With the second State of the Nation address of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte happening on the 24th of July, let us take a look at the ongoing and accomplished promises from the President to our beloved country. Considered as a barometer of an administration's performance for succeeding years, the State of the Nation address lays down the President's agenda and programs to realize his vision. Steering the nation to greater heights is a daunting task. In his first State of the Nation address, President Duterte promised genuine change. We'll put at stake my honor, my life, and the presidency itself. I said that the fight against criminality and illegal drugs and corruption will be rent relentless and sustained. Being true to his word, the moment he stepped in as president, President Duterte made sure that the police will do their job to make the citizens feel safer by launching the 911 emergency hotline and the 8888 citizen complaint hotline. At first, simply an order, lalo na yung drive nila sa drugs, uh, at saka mga crime, mga ba yung mga crime? Police visibility has increased and has made itself available 24-7. As a result, the Philippine National Police reports a big decrease in crime rate of 27% from July 2016 to May 2017. The President's vision is to make our country better than ever. As we journey to fulfill this vision, let us take a look at some of the major changes that the administration has done throughout the country. For those who have valid reasons to complain about graft and corruption, the gates of Malacanian will be opened. He made no distinction of affiliations when even a whiff of corruption has started floating to his men. The Department of Labor and Employment has also imposed a 72-hour processing time for government certificates and clearances. Moreover, a one-stop shop will be established within the civil aviation complex for the benefit of the overseas Filipinos. The major thrust of the Duterte administration involves the support of Filipinos abroad. To ease the burden of the overseas Filipino workers, President Duterte proposed a law acquiring the Philippine Postal Savings Bank. Also, the Department of Labor and Employment launched the One-Stop Service Center for OFWs. This service center puts various agencies in one place so OFWs can process their papers with more efficiency to costs and time. President Duterte sought the support of the telecom companies to strengthen the country's network connectivity. Shortly before the president marked his first year in office, the Department of Information and Communications Technology has launched its free Wi-Fi project. 
the National Broadband Plan, and the National Government Portal. These projects aim to make connectivity easier and more convenient to the public and to allow them to access government services the faster way. Traveling from one place to another has been a challenge for commuters. To address this, the government has launched the Build, Build, Build campaign. Part of the project involves building of more roads and railways nationwide. Among many, the major projects include the Mindanao Rail Project, Malolos to Clark Railway Project, Clark International Airport Expansion Project, New Communications, Navigation and Surveillance and Air Traffic Management, New Configuration of Light Rail Transit Line 1 North Extension Project, Change in Scope, Cost and Financing Arrangements for the Arterial Road Bypass Project, NLEX SLEX Connector, Harbor Link Expressway, and Cavite Laguna Expressway. The Philippines is now one of the strongest performers among major emerging economies in Asia. Under the Duterte administration, our gross domestic product posted a 6.4% growth in the first quarter of 2017. An other destructive practices that aggravate the devastation of our natural resources. The beauty of our country is highly dependent on one's environment. The natural degradation due to mining has come to alarming levels. So the government wasted no time in auditing 41 metallic mines, of which 10 were suspended, 20 were recommended for suspension, and while 11 were conferred a passing rate. The implementation of the responsible parenthood and reproductive health law must be put into full force and effect. To address the problem of overpopulation and the challenge of allocated resources to Filipino families, the President signed an executive order of attaining and sustaining zero unmet need for modern family planning through the strict implementation of the Responsible Parenthood Act and Reproductive Health Act. On taxation, my administration will pursue tax reforms towards a simpler and more equitable and more efficient tax system that can foster investment and job creation. The administration drafted the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion Act and is already submitted to Congress. It is meant to exempt most Filipinos from paying income tax while reforming the government's taxation. This aims to give most Filipinos more spending power, and it also provides the government more leeway to devise more efficient and sustainable ways to collect taxes. Taxes that will fund more infrastructure and social services projects. A lot of promises, a lot of accomplishments. As the first year of our President Duterte passes by, we have already seen change. We have already felt the political will. We have witnessed a country united towards a common goal. Soon, we will see a new Philippines that any Filipino around the world can be proud of.